Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling. Welcome to our Ravel Platinum Edition Queen Mary 2 build and this is part 13. So as you can see um, I was going to bring you back after part 12 after I completed all the um, railings and everything but I thought I'd just have a bring you back in a bit early here and we'll have a look because it's going really well and uh, when things go well I want to share that <laughs> so um, so first of all you'll notice that the pool area is uh, gone transparent and it looks perfect we've got our lighter color water in the pool and our two spars there let me grab my paintbrush poking device um, and I've worked on the rails so if we start down on this deck, this was step two on the photo etch instructions. So I've put the railings running down on the either side of the staircase there in place. There's railings running across here and around here. That's all on the deck. We've got these in place where the staircase comes around. All the railings are all done, including the uh, wood deck bit that sits on that platform. That's all. So that's completed. I've crossed that off. Step two done. Now in under there, I know you can't see, but in under there on the actual ship, there's some boxes in there. I'm not sure what's in them. They're green boxes under those windows. So I'm going to put some in there to give that some realism. Um, moving up here, uh, the pool, I've just begun the railings so these are all silver now I might also note all the top railings have done painted in the brown and that's gone on really nice and it looks good these railings around the pool don't have any brown top rail they're all chrome so I've done these little stairway into the pool there I'm working on these here and I'm gonna go all the way around doing all the pool area okay so that's where I'm at at the moment um, I'll be back in a second I'll finish all of this and we'll come back and have a look at it all right back in a minute okay welcome back and I'll just show you um, well there it is all the pool area is all complete now um, the only thing I haven't put on there is some railings that go across here here and here and on the ends there um, they're here drying so I just painted them and I will put them on in about an hour or so and then that will be completely done um, now you might notice that I've got some lights on here so let's have a quick preview of what it looks like with the light off and we can see so there we go now mind you there's nothing on that yet so that part there is still uh, hasn't got a piece on it but uh, you can see the lights in the pool in the bottom of the pool there um, it's come up really really nice I'll just show you there you go there's our little lights in the bottom of the pool now I mean I've still got the light on here so there's still quite a bit of light if I turn off the main light in here there it gives you a better idea of the sort of nice glow we get across the deck that's coming out from those windows below that's what I was aiming for uh, it's, you can't see in there but yeah so that, that's come up really nice of course that's all very bright because it's exposed straight up LEDs let me just put the lights back on and we'll get organized here okay so now get all that out of the way um, the boats put aside for a while now because we won't need to go back to that for a bit now we're moving on to a different section but I'll just show you with the photo etch area so obviously there's step one that we've done with the first pool then we've got the deck above that which was done we've done all this now with the second pool area on the top that's all done this part um, I could do that now but not uh, following the instructions um, that 
uh, we don't need to do that yet there's a few other things we can do before we can put that on so we'll, we'll set this aside for now and we'll move back to the instruction book so um, I've ticked off 16 and 17 that's all complete now and we're moving on to 18 which takes us on to um, the uh, superstructure the side of the superstructure where all the cabins are we've got to put in all the glass balcony all the glass on the balconies now let me just grab one and I'll quickly show you so for instance there's one side so this area here is these two sections here we've got five ten pieces of glass that need to be put in their positions on here or five down here five down here now the glass I sprayed them a long way <laughs> weeks ago actually when I was just testing out uh, something I never used before which was the acrylic crystal MIG um, crystal smoke and I had a bit of trouble with this because I was using um, thinners for it that I use in my Tamiya paints and I was having all sorts of troubles and then I realized that you just thin this with water so I have yet to do that but I'm, I'm confident that yeah this will work better with water <laughs> now these were already tinted I already painted these they're all done and these are the ones that we need to go on these balconies here so what will happen is they'll all get taken off the sprue of course that's these larger ones on this half there's two sprues so we've got this half as well and they'll get put in place but what we've got to do first is that there is little black lines that need to be let me get my um, uh, glue applicator pointing device and one day I will get a dedicated um, pointing device <laughs> so have a look go up closer and you can see that all these balconies I need to paint black little black strips all the way along where the banisters would where the sort of the post areas behind the balconies are it's probably best if I put a photo up from the real ship that's the best way to have a look at what these need to look like and of course the brown for the handrail across the top needs to be painted now what I did if you remember is I bought all of these um, Bosco pens paint pens Posca I should say Posca including the brown one which my plan was to do the tops of these railings with. Uh, I also have a black one and the two white ones. Now, the black one, um, yes, that, that works fine. Um, I've used this on the glass on the stern of the ship that I did before, and it works fine. So that's probably what I will do the, the lines along all of them with. Um, but for the brown handrail across the top, I'm going to actually use a brush, which is also why I bought these fine little brushes uh, to do all that with. So that's going to be quite time consuming. What I'm thinking is also best to do is do these while they're on the sprue. So to you know, just something that's a bit more stable than a loose piece of plastic. So. What I can do is just have them down there and just work on them like that. I think that would be the best. Now, um, the other reason why I mentioned we're not going to be doing much on the ship, which is why I've moved it away, is that because after we've done that on number eight, step 18, you'll see that step 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 is pretty much putting in all the glass on all of these balconies which I, if I remember right was over a thousand um, thank god they're not individual pieces of glass there <laughs> we've got the strips of it so yeah same thing and they all have to be painted as well so we've got 
the black there, there's a good shot there you can see what I mean that's how they're talking about A is black and D is the brown so all these little pieces here over every one of them has to be done all the black and then all the length across the top all in the brown once that's done and they're all put in place step 24 we'll be bringing the ship back onto the bench dining table and uh, <laughs> and these will be placed in position which is when that piece will come in which is where I mentioned there's that little hole in there for the LED strip to pass through to continue on inside that piece will go in there and these will sort of butt up against that somehow and then they will all be put in place including another looks like another support down that end but that's a fair way off <laughs> and that's still only 24 step 24 out of nearly 90 steps so yeah quite a bit to go anyway I will sort myself out here get everything set up and uh, we'll come back and uh, get stuck into this okay back in a sec welcome back so getting into this uh, I've come to the conclusion of how I'm going to do this um, as it turns out there are a pretty close to 70 glass balconies that need to be painted now what I'm doing is I'm using my uh, 3 mil 6 mil sorry Tamiya tape and masking them all off on both sides I've just done the first one here just leaving the top visible which I will be painting with my brown once that's uh, dry we'll take the masking tape off and do all the vertical supports in the rail in the glass that have to be done in the black and for that I'll be using my Posca black pen um, hopefully I can reuse some of this masking tape because if I need to do 70 actually 140 because they both sides have to be masked I'm gonna run out so I may be able to recycle this we'll see um, so yeah this is going to take a lot of time so if you um, no I'm just joking you don't want to watch me do all this <laughs> I'm gonna spend the next couple of days by the looks of it um, getting these painted up I will do one and we'll have a look at it and then uh, the next time you see you see me hopefully I'll have all of them done because a lot of them still have to be sprayed so these ones I sprayed earlier on when I was testing out my acrylic MIG um, crystal smoke which if I remember right is uh, a mixture of 50 50 uh, paint to water but there's a lot more balconies that need to be to be done um, I think actually all of these need to be painted uh, the smoke tint all except I think this piece which is the roof covering uh, above the swimming pool on the top of on the top of the ship I will check that but I'm, I'm fairly sure that was the only clear piece um, and if that's the case then I can paint all these on the sprue which would be much easier okay I'll get on to this I'll finish one one of these and we'll come back and see how that looks and then I'll get on with the other 70 <laughs> all right back shortly okay so here we are we've got one done and I don't know if this will show very well but it actually came up really nice so the brown across the top uh, looks good now the thing is that, that 
it's not just one surface it's not like I could just run a brush along the top and it's done there's there's this side and that side so you've got all three sides of this top piece to be to be done brown so masking it is really the only way um, to do it properly um, I'd make a mess of things if I thought if I could try doing it just with a brush without masking um, so what I've done is with the masking I realized that I only need half the length of this to cover this so that'll save me half the tape what I'm doing is I'm going to put down lengths of tape on the mat here uh, I'll put down you know 10 of them to start with or 8 of them to go now and then I'll uh, cut them in half strips and place them all on like I have with this next one and there it is there and then simply brush the brown across the top and wait a while peel it off and do the next one but I'll take them all up on this sprue first um, which doesn't take too long uh, it's just a matter of making sure it's all down firm because of the little raised vertical bars that need to be done black so you've got to make sure it's all down tight otherwise you, as I noticed with this one I got a little bit of brown come under the tape but I think that's only because I put it on too thick so I won't do that again so um, it was all right and the problem is you, you can't wipe it off if you do have um, any go where you don't want it because then you'll end up taking off the tint from the um, the acrylic MIG smoke crystal smoke um, so just have to take my time and uh, go through them all all right I'll get on with this <laughs> now, back shortly for you guys for me it'll be a few days okay okay welcome back so uh, the bench is looking a bit bare here but I uh, just wanted to show something before we go back to the balconies that I've um, got ready painted um, during the whole time I've been making my videos um, I've been using a microphone that's pretty massive and it's it's awkward it sits on the corner of my desk here it gets in the way um, you know it's connected here we go so this is it here you can see the size of it it works really well <coughs> um, but it's just too big and of course the lead which runs to my laptop which is just in front of me over there gets in the way and you know I think knock falls over all the time so I've decided to replace this with uh, a wireless microphone and it arrived today from eBay so let's have a quick look at this open it up now see how we go here there it is it's a wireless microphone everything else is in Chinese uh, the name of it is in Chinese uh, this was not expensive this was only about $25 so it was quite cheap but I did look at some reviews and the reviews um, had some good things to say about it okay so here we go let's open this up this is the first time I've opened this up uh, so we've got okay so it probably has to be charged first it's got 10 hour long working time which is good real-time sound reception well that's good to know because <laughs> you sort of want it to work in real time um, smart noise cancellation uh, so yeah we'll, we'll see how that compares to my other microphone sound and picture synchronization well that's handy because we do want me to be speaking and in synchronized with uh, what it's what we're talking about it's also tiny and portable well 
that looks pretty accurate let's have a look so there it is there and there's our USB connection and this will just sit on my collar which will be simple this looks like an on off switch just there uh, in here we have uh, well first thing I see is a problem um, that USB will not plug into my laptop so we may have a an issue with that it looks the wrong size <coughs> although when I bought it it did say it was for a laptop um, so we've got instructions here which has oh good there's English instructions on this side so that's good so we've got uh, microphone uh, okay so it's showing it connecting to a mobile phone um, which I knew it does do and it is for but it's also supposed to be for a laptop as well uh, maybe we'll have an adapter in here fingers crossed and it looks like yes I think we do so there's our normal USB and that will probably plug into uh, there and that will go into the PC alright well anyway I will go through the instructions and get this thing charged and we'll be able to do a sound test and compare it to how my other microphone sounds. Now I do have software in my um, OBS studio which I use for recording. Um, there is software in there for the sound so I can probably, I will be able to fiddle around and sort out the bass and so forth a little bit and get some sound but all right. I'll go get, hook this up, get this red working, and we'll do a sound test and compare it to what it's like compared to this monster. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, hello, welcome back. Now I'm um, using the new microphone here. Um, so far, looks like the meter is telling me that it's working. I'll have to. Um, stop my recording go back and watch and listen and see if what differences there are and maybe make any changes uh, just let me test test it a few more times testing one two three <laughs> I'll be back shortly after I've listened to this back in a sec okay welcome back so I've got the microphone working a lot better now um, I'm having, a, I'm running it at 15.1 decibel, which is, I ran it everything from 5 all the way up to 20.6, and I was starting to get uh, too, too quiet or too much background distortion. I think right now is about perfect, um, which is great. It's good. Um, it does connect into my laptop, which I was a bit unsure about. Um, that's what the extra little lead was for. So, um, yeah, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, am I sounding a bit better now? Um, I've certainly got some more space on my desk. Um, now that I don't have to use all of this, um, yeah, a wireless microphone, fantastic. Um, much, much better. <laughs> all right, excellent. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and... Um, Let's get back into building this Queen Mary. Back in a sec. Okay, so here we go back again. And just so we know where we're up to, this is what we're working on is all these glass balconies and getting them painted. So it's been slow progress over the week. It's now the weekend and I have to get this video done by the weekend because it is uploaded for Monday. So there's 
a whole heap of them all taped up, ready to paint the brown balconies. Um, that's the second lot, so let me get so that would be for the other side of the ship, which I'm thinking will be in the step 19. Just having a quick look. Oh, there's a few things to do. It actually has you pit pit these on here, and then a couple of steps after we'll do the opposite side. But I'm just getting ahead, and there we are. They're taped up, ready to paint. Um, these ones are the ones I've painted. Focus and see those. So they've come up really well. I'm glad I taped, um, masked them off. It made it a lot easier. And um, there were a couple of little spots that got under the masking tape, but you know, with a bit of thinner on a on a tiny brush, it was easy just to clean them up. And the end result is. Um, Let's see, it's gonna, yeah, there's our railing. So now we're doing all the vertical parts and I've just started one just now and may focus, be able to see. So I've just started doing them along, well, just to there actually, using my black Posca pen and this is quite simple and this is going on well. Um, it's just a matter of just being a little bit careful and just doing your line on each one and that will do I'll do the whole lot of them I'm doing them on the inside of them now when these were painted with the um, MIG acrylic um, crystal smoke I sprayed the inside of the balcony okay so the outside has a bit more of a shine to it which has that glass effect that I want you can see that there work because the inside doesn't but that's fine it's the outside we want to show the glass reflecting on the balconies and I've also I'm doing the inside of these black uh, vertical parts on the inside there so that on the other side it'll be fine um, so this, this pen is working really really well really easily now what I also did was I tried a normal marker pen um, and that doesn't work it, it's, it fades so it's not as black once it dries it dries black but not as black <laughs> so it's best to be using these pens these have been really definitely worthwhile getting um, even though I didn't use the brown because it was too light a colour turned out too light but uh, there may be other opportunities where I can use that certainly in future all right um, so I'll get on and and finish all of these I'll do all these they shouldn't take me too long and then we'll go ahead and we'll put them all on I guess they'll all get uh, placed on that uh, piece of superstructure along there where all the cabins are okay back shortly Okay, I'm back again, and I've got all of these painted up. There's 10 of them there. I'm going to put five in this side, five in here, and I already test fitted one, and they, they're perfectly no problem at all. I'll just um, pop one in place and show you what I mean. So it's just a matter of just dropping it in there like that. And uh, that's it, it's in place. They fit nice. That's pretty much it. There's one balcony on. Now, the glue I'm going to use, it will be the Ultra, MIG Ultra glue. It's specifically for photo etch, but also clear parts. It's the stuff, the go to stuff for canopies and, and things like that. Um, the great thing about this is you can water it down to whatever consistency you want and however thin you want and also like that one there I've used previously which I'll add a little bit of water to because it's a little bit thick um, putting them in these little containers I mean that's been in there for a month and it's fine it's no problem that stuff lasts forever now it's a little bit thick so I'll make it a little bit thinner and what I'll do is simply 
move that out of the side is just with a, a paintbrush, small brush, I'll just take a, a dab of that and I'll just touch it uh, where that's going to sit against the, the dividing walls there and uh, and pop it on there and let that sit there and glue in place and work down and do all of them. Okay, so I'll, I'll get on with this and I'll also get my other ones painted up so that they have time to dry so I can do the other side. But like I said, I think there's other bits. I think there's a bit in here that needs a couple of pieces of glass put in. Um, there might be a few other pieces on here. I think in the next step, they want... Uh, actually, they want this whole piece completed, it looks like. So maybe doing... Um, all these sections along here as well in which case none of them are painted um, or are they actually they may be painted some parts aren't so uh, this weekend I'll be planning to do a lot of the um, paint on all these clear parts of the crystal smoke but I'll put all these in place and we'll come back and have a quick look at that okay so as you can see here, I've got the balconies all along here all done. They're looking quite good. There was a couple of extra just in here. Painted them up, put them in. So that's all looking really nice. All I have to do now is all these. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a very repetitive flow. Um, I've got the nine balconies that go along this section. That's them there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, two, four, six, eight. Okay, there's... I'm missing... Oh, no. Here we go. Get it right. So there they are there. So those balconies... We'll, we'll go on here. Of course, I've still got to do the vertical black bits on them. And then the top area here has uh, separate pieces off a different sprue. So some of those uh, go in in smaller pieces, as you can see here. So they'll have to go into that top area. I guess they're the more uh, luxury suites along the top. And pretty much repeat for the other side so yeah this this will take me all weekend <laughs> so uh i won't end the video here i'll see how much i get done the rest of today and tomorrow and then we'll we'll have a look and see where we're at okay back in a sec okay we're back again and i've completed all of this uh, there's our balconies running all the way along. And it's come up really well. I'm really happy with that. So that's the whole side of the superstructure done. There it is. Just got to do the other side now. <laughs> so that will also cross off number 19 and 20 in the instructions and then uh, 21 will be as we begin on the other side of the for the rooms on the other side of the ship 21 22 and 23 and then 24 will actually be putting them in so this can go put aside and then i'll bring this one out which is actually upside down it's that way and we'll begin with that. And I've already got the um, some of the balconies um, painted, others aren't. And then of course there's all the other little balconies uh, for the luxury suites along the top, which I haven't even started. So that'll be my day done. We'll be doing the rest of this. What I'll do now is I'll quickly put up a bit of video of the real ship 
so you can get an idea of what um, what all this part looks like on the actual ship. Okay, so here we are looking along the side of the Queen Mary here. As you'll see up on the top of the ship there is that glass area. That's the area that I'm going to leave the glass clear because inside below there is the swimming pool. That's the only clear glass that I know of um, on the ship. Everything else is tinted. You can see there's a lot of lifeboats we're going to be putting up and building later on. Um, a lot of areas, all that top deck we haven't even started yet. But, uh, you can see there's all our balconies. You can see there those two large tinted windows. That's the uh, lift, the elevator that goes up inside there. I'm not going to tint them that dark. I'm going to leave those um, lighter because I want to put a light in there and light that up. Uh, the bridge around the top and the lower ones down. The black is actually a decal that sticks on there um, to give that black look around the windows. Um, not sure whether I will do that yet or whether I'll actually paint it. Um, but uh, yeah, there's still quite a bit to do. Look how smooth she goes through that water. Um, quite a bit to do on the deck. Front deck there, those cranes need to be put on. Um, all those lifeboats all the way along there. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's coming along quite well. And uh, I think um, try and get this looking as close to what it, the real thing looks like as I'm capable of doing anyway. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, I'll show you um, both of these second the second one also complete in the next part of the series as we go into actually finally putting these we'll get the ship back down on the bench here and we'll place them in where they go we'll be up to about step 24 by then and uh yeah the ship's gonna start looking quite good at that point so um please um subscribe if you haven't already uh give us a thumbs up if you like the video and comment below please your comments are welcome i like to read your comments and get your tips if if you've got any tips or any questions, put them down below. And, and I'll see you all in part 14 will be next. Okay, until then, cheers. See you all, bye.